Hello there, my name is Joe, and I still haven't managed to get a haircut just yet, but I have been taking part in some game jams recently, and I really want to talk with you guys so that I could share the experiences that I've had so far. So I initially joined the 2020 GMTK game jam. This was a 48 hour game jam, and I'd love to talk more about what I did for this jam, but unfortunately I didn't actually have the foresight to do much recording during the creative process. That being said, I did team up with my friend Dawn, and we made a small timed game about trying to escape a spaceship before it hurtles into a nearby star. Along the way, you discover the story of why you were alone in cryosleep, and why the ship is on a collision course with the sun. Systems report. Navigation. Unrecoverable. Steering. Unrecoverable. Life support. Unrecoverable. Will to live. Unrecoverable. Escape pods. One remaining. Spoilers, you're the captain and your crew mutinied you and left you for dead. I learned so much during these 48 hours, and then I learned 10 times more in the feedback that people have given about the game since. If you wanted to check it out, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. As a note to myself, if you're going to include picking up items in your game, make sure there's some sort of interaction to stop people picking up items through walls, or people will beat the game in less than 20 seconds. So I enjoyed my experience with taking part in a game jam so much, that I actually almost immediately signed up for another game jam right after. Thankfully, this game jam is not 48 hours, it's over a much longer period of time, and we're actually about halfway through it now, it ends on August the 31st, I think. This game jam is called the Haunted PS1's Summer of Screams. Now this game jam is a game jam that's hosted by a Discord server that specialises in retro-styled video game graphics, uh, with some horror vibes thrown in uh, for good measure. The theme for this jam is architectural horror, and I'm really excited about what's been made so far. The theme initially made me think of the isolated research station from The Thing, and I knew that that's what I wanted to try and tackle for my game. I've decided to make a game that is set in a spooky, isolated oil rig where you have to uncover the story of what's happened. I actually roped a few friends into trying out the game jam experience with me, I think we've made some really good progress so far. Because this jam is still ongoing, I actually won't spoil the story too much just in case you want to play it later. I've had a lot of chances to try and get better at modelling retro styled graphics. Here you can see a big bunch of models that I've made for the interiors of the game so far. I've also partially completed the oil rig itself, but there's still a lot to iterate on here as the gameplay and level design evolves. For organisation during this jam, I've chosen to use a site called Codex.io. It's a more video game orientated Trello-like software that's been pretty fun to use so far. I'd really recommend checking it out as they just launched a free plan for small teams to use. I think due to the longer length of this jam, I'm exploring a lot more concepts that I normally wouldn't like physics, and overall just focusing more on the visual part of the game, so it's not looking like a bunch of assets thrown together at the last minute, which to be honest is a little bit like what my first game jam looked like. I'll be sure to make a video once this jam has ended, as I'm really excited about the outcome of this game. I think it's actually going to be really, really quite good, uh, and quite fun to play. Let me know if you have any questions at all, or if there's anything that you'd like to see me maybe try and tackle in this game jam. It, I've still got a month to go, so there's a lot that could change in the process. Um, I've really missed making videos, but unfortunately um, I've actually not been that well recently. My health has kind of taken a turn for the worst, and it's affected my ability to create content. It's been really nice to try and get this video out. But until next time, peace.